Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today we have a very exciting holiday collection from Tom Ford. So I figured we would dive in. Yes, I do have some Sephora caffeine under eye gels because one of these products is for the eyes and I figured this was a great time to depuff while we try some new products. So if you guys are curious to see items from the Tom Ford holiday collection for 2023, then just keep watching. Okay, so they were kind enough to send me two products from their holiday collection, but still, I am so excited to share with you guys these products. They're probably the two products I would have picked for myself. This is the Soleil or Soleil collection, and they sent me their Shadow Quad and their Highlight. And if you guys watched my previous Tom Ford video, you know that their Highlighter Duo has quickly become a well-loved favorite. You can see I've already worn off the, <laughs> the TF logo on both pans because i use them so frequently they are just these gorgeous melt into the skin glow powders that i'm obsessed with obsessed so i am very excited about this other highlight and a shadow quad so why don't we open them up we'll do swatches try the eyeshadow and then after we have some makeup on the face we will try the highlight all right so this is the soleil neige which i think means night sun if i am correct and these come in like the white dust cloth bags, white dust bags, if you will. And it's white packaging as opposed to their previous metallic packaging. And as usual, it comes with the two little brushes, but look at these shades. Do you see these two sparkly shades? I am so excited. These remind me a lot of the wet look shadows that I've been obsessed with lately. I have several from ColourPop, several from Natasha Denona, and these look just like them. With two basic matte shades as well, I feel like this is going to be a stunning little palette. And then we have the Soleil or Soleil Neige. And I don't know if I'm saying it right. It might be a different language. Glow highlighter. Again, the white and silver packaging. And uh, that is what the highlight looks like. It looks like it's going to be a beautiful pinky champagne shade. I am so excited to try this. Oh my. Oh, that is going to be beautiful. So let's start off with shadow swatches. I'll just go in order. I'll do top row and then the second row. Oh my, so, so smooth. Okay. Okay. I am definitely excited for this. Okay. There's the first matte shade, which is going to be a gorgeous all over lid shade for me. Ooh, that one's got a little bit more like warm brown to it. That one's more like a champagne and it isn't so much a topper as it is a metallic. So there is some base color to these. They're not just like a shimmery finish shadow. So that's really pretty. So I'm going to go ahead and prime the eyes and then we will try this palette. Okay, eyelids are primed and this is the Illamasqua. I think it's just called the Cream Shadow, the Eye Paint in the shade Chai Custard. This is a really great eye primer. It doesn't crease, which is fantastic. All right, so first I'm going to go in to the top matte shade. Now, one thing to note is these don't have color names. So if you were looking for them in another palette, I don't know what shade to tell you. All right, so I'm just gonna go with the matte cream shade all over the lid. All right, next I'm taking a um, Alamar like blending brush and I feel like I have no option but to go into the deep brown on the outer corner. You could probably do the dark brown along the lash line as like a liner. You could probably do it all over and top it with one of these glitters. You could probably use one of these glitters as an all over. Let's try it. Let's take the lighter of the two, this bottom one, and just put it all over that base shade and see what happens. Okay, you get like a very shimmery, icy look. It's definitely doable. Let's try the other one on the other side and of course I will even them out. Not a whole lot of base color in that one, surprisingly. I thought it would be a lot darker. So you definitely could wear these on their own if you just want that like shimmery look. I think now they're even, they both have both shimmers on them. That one almost looks blackish gray on the eye. That does not look brown. It does not look brown at all. Oh, that's disappointing. I was hoping this would be a really pretty brown. Maybe this brush is just a little too big. 
try a smaller brush from Sonia Kashik. On this side, I'm focusing it more towards the lash line and then just a little tiny bit in the outer corner. I'm thinking this looks a bit more flattering on my eye shape than this. Okay, so I've tried to even them up a bit and I have learned from experience that the brush that comes in the palette actually works the best for their metallic shades. So I'm gonna grab this sponge on this side. I'm gonna go into the darker metallic on top first. See how well it picks up? And then with the thinner side, I'm gonna go into the lighter shade on the bottom on the inner part of the eye. And then just go over a little bit with that dark shade again along the lash line. Of course, I will clean up the edges when I have my makeup on, but here is product number one. It's not as brown as I was hoping. It looked very brown in the pan. On the eyes, it's looking like dark gray, which is a little disappointing, but we will hop off, finish up the face and come back to try this beautiful glow powder. So see you in a bit. Okay guys, I am back. Makeup is mostly on. I added some mascara to the Tom Ford eye look and it is like a subtle smoky eye. I can get away with this. I like this. It isn't something that I feel like I'm drawn towards. Like I'm not drawn towards blackish gray colors, but the fact that there's the cream matte in here, the fact that the shimmers are beautiful, I definitely think I get a lot of use out of that. So that brings us to our last holiday product in this video, which is this beautiful glow powder. I am so excited about this. So let's not waste any more time. So this is the brush that I use for the other Tom Ford Glow Powder Duo. This is the Milani brush, I believe. Yes, the All Over Blending brush from Milani. It's beautiful. Works really well for highlighting our glow powders. So let's see what she looks like. If it's possible, I think that color flatters my skin tone even more than the other highlighting duo. Is that possible? so pretty. Ooh, can you guys see that? Kind of meshes in with the blush color, but just makes my skin look super radiant and glowy. Now, can I use it on the nose? Let's see. Oh, yes, it's actually bright enough. It's bright enough to use on the front of the face as well. Hmm. All right, guys, we might have a new favorite glow powder. This is gorgeous. So while last time we tried Tom Ford for the first time, this is now my second time trying Tom Ford products and they were both hits. They were both wins, thumbs up. I knew I was gonna love this as soon as I saw these shimmers and the one light color and one dark color this is beautiful. Like I, it gives me like an everyday slight smoky look while I wish this was actually brown and not gray as it appears on my skin tone. Maybe this will look brown on other skin tones. It is beautiful. I am excited to continue using it. It's very easy to use, very user-friendly. You get everything you need in this one little quad. So love that. And you guys already know, I love the new glow powder. It is stunning, gorgeous big fan. So I would say this holiday collection was a huge success. Thank you so much to Tom Ford for sending these over. But as always, you guys get my honest opinion, whether I purchase it, whether it's gifted, whether it's PR, doesn't change anything. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys. Don't forget to check my last Tom Ford video to find out which were hits and which were misses. Obviously, I already told you I love the glow powder, but I tried a handful of other things. So head on over and check that out if you haven't seen it already. Thanks for watching. Bye.